welcome back with another set of very very exciting recruitment opportunities in the field of robotics and embedded systems so this is a clubbing of embedded systems and robotics based job opportunities and most of the job opportunities itself they are asking like you know clubbing of embedded and robotics based uh, knowledge so a lot of people are actually interested in working with the embedded field some people are interested in working with the robotics field actually this is mostly uh, uh, coming as a combination actually when you see the job notification they will be asking both or you will be getting to work with both the areas okay so it is a good thing it is a very good thing uh, as a starting uh, you know uh, as someone who is starting a career in the core field if you get like exposure to these two fields it is a great thing to do one more thing i want to mention is please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't subscribed because finding these job opportunities is actually very very tough so uh, please support me please help me reach the 200k it's been like so many years that we are stuck with 150 160 like that please help me reach that 200k and then we will be soon starting uh, another very very exciting uh, thing which i am going to announce very soon okay so once i reach the 200k we'll be starting that let's move on to the job opportunities i know you guys are waiting so we are going to see some unicorn companies also in this video so that is an exciting thing qualcomm is hiring for interim engineer uh, interim engineering intern 2025 batch okay it is a hardware hardcore hardware job and there is openings for bangalore and hyderabad location this is an intern job opportunity and the requirement is this you should be having either bachelor's or master's in electrical engineering vlsi embedded and vlsi or easy you should be having a uh, knowledge of soc embedded risk bsp processor very long vhdl c c plus plus tcl pearl knowledge of wireless wired communication knowledge of pll lna uh, excellent analytical and problem solving skill ability to collaborate work with teams good verbal and written communication skill so it is a very uh, famous company of electronics it is a unicorn company of electronics that pays you very good salary so if you could get a start in this company it's a good thing to have associate macro hard macro physical design associate validation and debug uh, rf analog mixed signal power ic low power design board and fpga design digital asic design so these are the summary of things that you will be doing okay so that is not the uh, requirement the requirement we have already seen uh, it is this okay so google about these things if you haven't studied any of this google about it study and get some knowledge let's move on to the next opportunity that is from the very famous art park okay ai and robotics technology park uh it is a robotics based company but it is also having requirement as i said in the beginning of the video if you have like a combination of embedded plus robotics interest interest if you are having then this is a best thing okay so if you are applying for a robotics job naturally you are going to uh you know study some embedded systems because robots generally uh you know fall into the uh, into the domain of robotics area also so now let's see the embedded systems and control system engineer that is the job title uh, it is a full-time job location is Bangalore requirement is B, B tech or MBM tech graduate with zero to three year of experience pressures can definitely apply here core embedded knowledge experience of ADCs, DACs, interrupts, pointers, registers, RTOS they are asking for hardcore embedded things okay and low power con uh, conditions work with UART, IT, I2C, SPI, CAN, communication protocols these are the things that we study in embedded system subject right good programming skills in embedded c c++ familiarity with linux version control such as git hands on experience with various embedded uh, embedded development boards such as esp32 stm32 ti boards either on uh, development boards or custom boards good fundamental knowledge of open loop and closed loop algorithms hands-on experience with implementing pid controllers ability to design and document work uh, comprehensively experience with pcb design and routing soldering debugging wire wiring prototyping pcbs experience in designing 3d models experience in matlab simulink these are the preferred skills okay you don't need to actually look into this but just have a you know just read it because you might get questions in the interview about these areas so that is a job opportunity for embedded systems and control engineer it's coming under robotics field 
because it is a robotics based company so you can expect to do a lot of robotics based uh, job in here okay let's move to the next opportunity that is embedded systems and ros engineer it is again coming from the same company bangalore is a location again requirement is almost the same i would say but they are asking for some other skills that is uh, first thing is bb tech mem tech 0 to 3 year of work experience it's the same required proficiency in ros1 ros2 hands on experience with various embedded development boards like stm32 jets and coral core embedded knowledge or experience of adc these are the same things okay so if you are having if you have studied the embedded system subject thoroughly you can apply for this that is the thing okay and also if you have done like some uh, you know uh, projects in your college if you have done some uh, internships some trainings or anything include all those things in the uh, yeah in the resume let us move on to the next opportunity that is coming from the company which is called te connectivity okay t connectivity they have various internship opportunities actually there is two projects for which they are looking for interns so that is a very good thing right multiple projects they have multiple projects and they are looking for people okay let us look so they are having t internship uh, automation manufacturing technology team that is a project one the next one is the project data insight and analytics team they are the two teams and two projects so let's see the details of project one the first one is support te india in automation robotics AI technology as i said it is pure hardcore robotics based job produce innovations and solutions support global amt contribute to te amt decide candidate profile b b tech computer science engineering no backlog till the final semester should have an aggregate 80 percentage above in the academics good communication skill problem solving critical thinking flexible and open to different technologies Working knowledge of more than one programming language, knowledge of machine version and image processing, good practical knowledge of current AI ML technologies, nice to have basic practical knowledge of data science, working knowledge of programming, configuring and troubleshooting of control technology equipments. So they don't, they are not looking for anybody with experience. They are looking for freshers, absolute freshers. If you are absolute fresher, you are eligible here. You need to have like 80% of mark, that's requirement data uh, insights and analytics, analytics team they are also looking for an intern you just need to have a bachelor degree in computer science you don't you shouldn't be having like backlogs you should be having 80 percentage strong programming capabilities good communication skill eagerness to learn and explore please apply here because they are 100 percentage looking for intern so i have shared with you internship opportunities and pressure opportunities now let us move to some of the experience candidate opportunities okay yeah i think yes yes ah sorry this is also like a uh, you know internship or uh, ex not experienced candidate recruitment robotics engineer automation sorry autonomous navigation uh let's see the requirement good technical aptitude problem solving fluent in english ability to work effectively good presentation skill should be able to travel in business purpose should be knowledge of multi agent path planning should be uh intermediate level of programming not expert level but intermediate level of programming in python c c plus plus bachelor or master degree with c gpa 7 electrical electronics embedded systems computer science experience should not exceed one year wow that's a good thing to oh sorry it went somewhere okay so that is a good thing to actually read right so they are looking for only freshers not experienced candidate should have minimum three month full internship work from office that is you should be have available for the internship it is a internship and then gradually you will be absorbed monthly stipend is eighteen thousand. i would definitely say you should go for this because it is a good good opportunity to explore next one that is uh algorithm engineer but that is asking for three plus years of development experience master degree in triple e ec computer science yes okay yes yeah, so that is all for today's video we have seen all the job opportunities that is applicable for freshers intern also we have seen a last one which is an experienced candidate opportunity but that's okay other other than that a lot of opportunities is there explore this save the name of the company somewhere keep looking their job uh, portal keep looking their uh, you know applications coming up if something is applicable for you apply for that because these are the companies just to note 
these are the companies that hire for people uh, with no experience because finding the name of the companies is actually difficult so write it down note it down create a word document with the name of the companies and keep exploring their career sites that's how you find or land on a job that's all for today's video i am really really hoping that you found the content useful if yes please consider subscribing as i said in the beginning of the video and please support the channel please share it with your friends thanks for watching keep on watching